What's up guys? Uh, doing a quick update video here showing the radiant energy transmitter. Um, basically what it can do. Uh, how I got these lights extremely efficient. The wireless lights. I worked out the mathematics for the most efficient wireless power transfer. As we see there is nothing inside it. I keep the system modular so it can be taken apart. L1, 1 inch long, L2, 4 inch long, L3, 2 inch long, wound in opposite direction of L1 and L2. L1 is 8 gauge wire, stranded. L2 is 26 gauge wire. And L3 is 16 gauge wire. So, as you see, there's nothing underneath it. We have no radiant energy effects occurring. And when I say radiant energy, I mean, when I turn this system on, it only uses 258 milliamps at 17 volts. And look how efficient this is. These lights light up just bringing them, it's like there's a radiant RF energy that, that can light up lights and run loads without putting a drain on the power source at all so and I can also get this to light just by bringing it near certain materials like look at that so that's what I mean there and I can just touch this to the leads of my multimeter and look at this it gets brighter that's the radiant energy effect I wanted to show off um, I sell these as kits. I don't believe any other transmitter in the world can do what ours can at MTEX. Yeah, and the key to making it work was the reverse wound coil. The bucking coil right here. I don't know why, but the reverse wound coil seems to really optimize this radiant energy effect. And I sell this larger kit. We're going on the Mark IV kit now. That's extremely energy efficient in maximizing the radiant energy effect. We're going on the Mark IV kit now. That will be 350 bucks for the big one, and 150 bucks for the smaller one. And the crazy thing to note is, a big one or a small one can receive this radiant energy just by touching the light to it. Check that out. Very brightly too, so you can do more experiments with that. Um, when people order, I was having difficulties getting some of the components, but not anymore. There was just shipping delays. Uh, when you order, it takes about a week or two to construct it and fine-tune it before it gets shipped out. It can take anywhere from, from one to three weeks to get the product after you order it. And you have unlimited tech support with it. Um, this is experimental technology. There is no refunds, unfortunately. But the technology is pretty simple. And there's not much that can go wrong once it's constructed. <clears throat> and you get a backup transistor too to run it. And the transistor that runs it is a TIP 35C and it's dirt cheap. The I have it set up and tuned so perfectly. The only thing that can go wrong is you would need a new transistor if you blew it. But the only way you could blow it is if you're being really stupid. <clears throat> and like messing with the circuitry itself. If you're experimenting with it, you should be making wireless circuitry, like not messing with that at all, because that's perfectly tuned. <clears throat> so what you could do is you could make a bridge rectifier and connect it between a ground connection and a metal plate, like this, like a metal antenna, and you could get power that way. So that's what you would do. You could run wires parallel to this, get more radiant energy. Here is what the little LED light looks like. Those are just two special 1N4148 diodes that do that. And there's a little light over there that runs too when the transmitter's on. That runs from the ground screw of my wall outlet to the metal on my desk. So as you see, metal seems to collect this energy. I'll shut the transmitter off, and that light goes out. Transmitter on. 
Transmitter off. Transmitter on. Transmitter off. And as you see, it's off. Turn it on. And we use a very small amount of power to do this, these radiant energy effects, which is absolutely interesting. And in theory, which I'm very close to doing, if I run this at a 100 volt DC supply, and I calculate the collector resistor to minimize the amount of power I use. So basically what's happening is the fact that there's DC switching occurring creates the radiant energy effect. It's like the act of rapid DC switching that creates this effect. And the counterclockwise coil optimize it, optimizes the effect up here. So we're going on the Mark IV and Mark V transmitters real soon. And it's going to be absolutely mind-bending, phenomenal-based effects. So, I'll let that stream. Even on the coffee can down here, look at that. It glows with me just bringing it near the coffee can. That's the radiant energy effect. And I notice certain times of day, especially on a really clear night, uh, these will light up too, just just between two metal plates which gives me ideas so that's another interesting thing to try but yeah I wanted to keep this video short just to show you that the mathematics are being worked out I'll be uploading a free PDF document soon detailing how to construct like master class level Slayer Exciter circuits with radiant energy with a radiant energy transmitter so, you can either construct it yourself or buy one from MTech Industries. And feel free to like, subscribe, and if you want to fund us, all links are in our channel's homepage description and some of our videos. And thanks for all those who support us. Feel free to like and subscribe. Oh, before I left, I wanted to show you one thing that will blow your mind. So if you construct a receiver coil identical to a transmitter coil, um, your efficiency will become mind-bending. So I will lower this to like... So now we're using two volts on the transmitter, four milliamps. Look at this. How crazy is that? We still have powerful radiant energy at such low power levels. And if I shut this off, the effect will go out. It's so efficient, it takes a few seconds to shut off, and now it's out. There's like a lag effect with it. I'll turn it back on. Like, look at that. Incredible. And what I'm gonna do now is get a wire. It's my cat, how you doing? So I will connect a wire, in antenna wires, like these wires will act as antenna wires, and do some pretty remarkable things. So I got that there, and if I add a wire, a long length of wire, this is just three alligators connected together, and I connect it to here, hopefully you can see that that's lit, and I'm filming everything one handed before I gotta go to work. So, it's tough to do this when you have business partners, research friends that help you, and you also work a full-time job, so. I just don't like how that's in the way, but. Now, anyway. I'm going to move this over. Get this out of the way. <laughs> so, now look at the range I'm able to transmit wireless power. It's like one wire and wireless power transmission. And that's just going to a receiver coil. And we're at two volts. That's how efficient this system is now. Like, it, it, it could be over 100% efficient. I don't know. Like, I, I got the mathematics to the point where you can calculate it and make it as efficient as the mathematics will allow. So, I mean, the proof is right here. We'll see how much lower we can take it. 
Okay, I'm at 1.3 volts. The transmitter is running off 1.3 volts. Current is so low, it can't even be measured from the DC power supply. And we still have activation on the light. How insane is that? And I know some people probably won't believe me, but I really don't care. If you literally read the old Tesla documents, which are in my page's home screen description, if you do your homework and you want to read all those old documents, it literally says in Tesla's own writing, his technology is so efficient it will, it will create wireless power phenomenon that are unknown to science. So let that sink in. And you can get that light brighter by connecting it to any ground source. And now the light is brighter. So we're wirelessly running this receiver light from this receiver coil from the primary through the RF diodes into the LED to this metal ground pin and I bet you I could even connect it to this coffee can and to act as a capacitance to ground and it would still light yeah it's still lit so let that let those efficiencies just blow your mind and I will move this even further and we still have the light lit so let me get my measuring tape, and we'll see how far that exactly is. So we are over a foot away. We are over one foot away, and we are able to transfer wireless power and one wire power transmission. I mean, this is wireless power. We're just grounding the light, and it lights up. So we're able to wirelessly power a mini 3-volt LED receiver light while using almost no current. That should be impossible. But then again, most of Tesla technologies are impossible, aren't they? They keep it suppressed on the stuff they don't want you to know, so... And so that works, and again, I don't want to make too long of a video, so it's right here. This, um, I shut it off. It, it lags for a minute when it shuts off because the circuitry is so efficient. So I already hit the button to shut it off, and I'm just waiting for it to shut off. And there it goes, it goes out. So yeah, again, that shows everything I wanted to, and thanks to all those who support me. And yeah, stay tuned.